in previous video we have did in order pre order post order and all these things let us now count how many how many uh, notes are there for that i will write the code first actually it is so much easy code it is a recursive code i am writing so i will simply do c out end line after that i will call for c o u n d count node n o d e right n o d e node and then i will pass the root again so this should return me the number of uh, code we number of node we have that is why i have taken the uh, c out now i am going to come for the function then i should return int then c o u n t count node is count uh, node i think the name is same okay after that i will take this as a p then i will come here after that see what i do i will do if if p isn't equal to null right p isn't equal to null go inside int i will take like uh, the some variable like int r and l for left side and right side in order to count for left and right side r is equal to again i will write c o u n t count count node and p uh, left side l side right c h i l side then l is equal to c o u n t count count node this time p right side sorry sorry i should be okay r child h i l chain then like let me change the variables because it will be more appropriate if i write like this then return r u t your return what you return you return me l plus r plus 1 let me explain how it works this this is how you will do right so uh, after that see you should return 0 after that you should return 0 the reason why i say you should return 0 is i will explain you in the code right i will explain you here that uh, by taking an example like the previous example i am going to take that is uh, 10 was year and the 5 uh, was year then 20 was year then again now 5 was uh, sub i think 2 was year then 7 was year then we had 15 year then 25 let's uh, see how it works for that let me copy paste this code and see how this works so i will copy this thing and i will paste it here uh, okay this should be fine then i will increase the size like 24 so it is perfect now see i am passing root node right so p i will set sorry small letter p i should be taking so it will give me error okay after that see i will be sending root that is 10 i will be sending okay i have created a uh, r and l like variable after that if p isn't equal to null yeah it is not equal to null then what you do l will be equal to again call for p left p left is what 5 you go there immediately you call for 5 again you come here again if uh, if it is not null yeah it is not null you go inside then immediately call for p left so p left is what 2 so 2 will be called again immediately this function will be called and 2 again the uh, this uh, for uh, 2 we should execute this code right again it will come here yeah it is not equal to null again it will come inside and then p left we have to do p left is what p left is what p left is null so we should pass however even if it is null we should pass it will pass uh, the um, count node for null that is p left that is two's left is what null will they pass and this statement will not execute what will be executed this will be returned that is zero will be returned okay you return me zero okay you have returned me zero here after that you have executed for two you have executed first leg okay p left now for two you have not yet executed this second leg so you need to execute this second line. What is second line tells? Take two right chain. Right chain is also null. So, however, you should pass it. You pass this here in the function. After that, it is uh, this function with this code will be not executed because it is null. Then this will be returned. That is zero will be returned. Okay, you return me zero. Okay, good. This line is executed. For two, this line is executed. 
now this line has to be executed now it should be executed l plus r plus 1 l is what 0 r is what 0 plus 1 is what this is nothing but 1 you return me 1 for 2 i am counted i have counted as 1 means like number of count i have to do right that is what my uh, intention we need to count the number of nodes so one will be uh, there here now this function ends when this function ends it will go back to the previous call that is five for five you have executed first line right only after executing first line you got this result right so uh, for left child uh, for l you got the result but you did not got that is one that is one but you did not got for r this is this one is for l l of phi you can consider like that okay after that what you do is right means you call right child of phi you have executed the first line of phi that is uh, the first line of this code of phi now you need to execute second line that is r when you executed you got seven okay seven you call immediately call for that function for if seven is not null again you come inside right let me erase this one it will be much more clear now uh, again seven for seven left child you should count left child is null means what it should uh, again immediately function will be called this will be not executed what will be written it will be written zero okay you return me zero again whatever it happened here will same thing happen here right right there is no uh, mistake there sorry there is no mm, difference here so it one will be returned here so for five you have executed first line second line you have executed now you have to execute third line that is l plus r plus one l is what one r is what one l plus one plus one that is three you pass it here three so after that you have executed the last line of five now go back to the previous call previous call for 10 for 10 till now you have executed the only the first line l you have executed by executing the l uh, first line only you got three means three means three number of no like you got this uh, output now you need to execute right when you execute right what happens is again same thing will continue you go for right that is 20 20 is not null again you come back here you call for left that is 50 so this process will continue and will give you and again 3 will be given here okay you give me 3 then at last for 10 at last for 10 l plus r plus 1 3 plus 3 plus 1 will be given that is 7 7 is the number of node i have so if i run this code it should give me what it should give me 7 at last right okay let us see whether it will give or not so the number of nodes are 7 they are 10 like 5 and 20 i think after that we have created i think 2 then 7 15 and 25 okay so 7 we are getting so this is how the count will work but now my my goal is what my goal is to count the see is whatever you understood till now the tree will hold holds good for next what i am saying the next thing what i am saying is i have to count what i have to count i have to count the leaf node means i have to count you know what i will count only these to uh, these things like i have to count last four that is leaf node the node which has no child right that is what i have to count i have to count those uh, nodes for that i what i will do means in this example i should get four for that what i do is i will change a small modification i will do here means if right if p left l child is equal to null right and p right child is equal to null then what you do then you then only you count this one plus one is what it is doing it is counting right it is counting so then only you should account what if it is not like means uh, left child is also null right child is also null means is a leaf node means it has not left child it has no right child at that time you do you count means plus one you do or else what you do what you do is return l plus r that's it you don't count anything just return me l plus r right l plus r plus zero anything you can use simply l plus r is okay 
then I will change this uh, function as count leaf count node count leaf node I will change it as if leaf node okay then if I execute I should get 4 okay I am getting some error so I should again write here right count leaf count leaf node so I should call for this I am counting leaf node so okay if I run Oh, why it is getting error okay sorry I should change this everywhere right what is this it is this function will be not there itself so let me change to this one so if I run what I should get is 4 and we give same values 10 that is like 5 I think 5 20 then 2 7 15 and 25 for I'm getting yeah this is for leaf node let us uh, without wasting our time let us go for uh, non leaf node means parent node you need to count these things like these three things you need to count for that what you do you do again same thing you will count if it is not if it is null right so now I will count if it is not null means both left and right child are there then only I will count or else I will not count so at this time we should get 3 let me again send all the values 7 again 10 5 20 next 2 7 15 and 25 3 I am getting so this is how what is uh, you can trace back how the count of leaf node not leaf non leaf node will work it is so much simple man when you are counting leaf node so when you are at this position then only plus one will take place right because see it has no left shade there is no right shade then only plus one will take place when it your your control is at five you have right shade your left shade this will not work what will work l plus r only will work l plus r plus one will not work so that is so much simple again this is how recursion works for counting nodes counting leaf nodes counting uh, parent node everything thank you